Hi, this is Oe, and this is the Proverbs series with Oe. Today we're in the episode 13 of the Proverbs series with Oe, and our scripture shall be taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter um, 19, verse 3, which says that a person's own folly leads to their ruin, yet their heart rages against God. A person's own folly leads to their ruin, yet their heart rages against God. This is a very deep um, scripture in Proverbs and it's, you know, it's something that we really have to ponder on. Each and every one of us have to think about this scripture and how it applies to our lives, you know. There are times that we have issues and we start to scream against God and we say things like, God, where are you? Where is your face? How do you... Why do you want to leave me to suffer this way? You know, sometimes some people even curse God. If you look, if you read the Bible, you would see the places that uh, there was a place that um, Job's wife was telling him to curse God as a result of what they were going through. So, and as individuals of today, we also go through these, you know, seasons and phases in our lives, whereby you know you're going through some trials and tribulations, and you want to curse God. But according to that scripture, if we look at it, please hold on. According to that scripture, it says that a person's own folly, um leads to their ruin yet their heart rages against god so we have to question ourselves what decisions are you making out of your own gratification you know there are times that we make decisions because we want to satisfy our flesh we want to make ourselves happy the flesh is raging against our desires are raging at that moment and we want to make ourselves happy so we take these decisions that is against god's will for our lives and when the consequences come we begin to you know wrist in pain we gnash our teeth and we are angry and we are praying and there are no answers and we start to blame god and sometimes we curse god sometimes we keep malice with god and we think that he has neglected us so this is why we have to question ourselves what decisions are you taking are you doing things out of your foolishness and you are now going to blame god afterwards when the consequences start to show up in your life we have to question ourselves and look inwards so that we don't make foolish decisions that are against god's will for our lives according to this scripture it says that a person's are uh, a person um please hold on a person makes um foolish decisions a person's own folly leads to their ruin yet their heart rages against god don't allow your folly to lead to your ruin don't make foolish decisions that will lead to your ruin that will attract you know terrible consequences to your life i know that as, as you, there are some people that are going to get to listen to this video and i pray that whatever decision they are trying to make that will bring terrible consequences to your life i pray that you have a rethink i pray that you suddenly see the light so that you don't make those decisions you know there are some things that we there are some places that we find ourselves in lives and they oftentimes come as a result of the decisions that we took out of our own foolishness so that you don't get to that point whereby you begin to rage against god and oftentimes maybe you see people that are, that, that, that they are enjoying their lives that things are going very well for them and you are hungry you are like oh god has forsaken me you know often and because we don't like corrections people that are foolish they don't also like to be corrected if you correct a mocker is going to disdain you it's also in proverbs so you know um, because we don't like corrections, we want to do the things that we want to do because we want to satisfy ourselves. So when the consequences come, we don't still own up to the mistake that we make that brought us to that place that we are, you know, going through those seasons that we are passing through. So um, whatever you, situation you are right now, whatever um, you might be dealing with that is making you cry against God, I also want to make you understand that there is mercy. Mercy is available for you. So all you need to do is to, you know, um, get to that place of acceptance of whatever it is you might have done wrong out of foolishness, out of times that you were ignorant. Whatever it is that you might have done wrong, understand that mercy is available. There are some situations that we will not pass through or come out of until we agree the part that we have played in it. So whatever you might have, whatever decision you have taken in the past that is bringing a lot of consequences, that is creating a lot of problems and ruckus in your life right now, I pray that you get to that point of acceptance, you repent of those decisions that you made so that you can allow God to step into your life accordingly and do what he only him can do for you and i pray that whoever gets to listen to this video and you're making decisions that can put you in a very terrible place in your life i pray that you get to see the light and i pray that you apply wisdom and move accordingly when it comes to the issues of your life so that you don't have to go through situations whereby you will curse god if you have been blessed by this video please share and uh, so that other people can be blessed. And uh, this is Proverbs series with Oe. Until next week, take good care of yourself. Bye.